Hey guys, this is Hell Hades free to play. And damn, we've got a big old video here. So a lot of us have been farming like crazy to get some of the Vlad um, tokens going along the fragments. Uh, so I'm going to do one of these dry ones. I'm going to do like a full gear cleanse of my free to play. Okay, and I know they're quite, these can be quite long. They could be quite dull. Um, I'm actually going to do it like almost in its entirety. So this could be a 30 minute video. Watch it if you want to watch it. If you don't, if you already know this stuff, good effort, good effort. But uh, just a little quick overview of where we are. Um, I mean, damn, we are on day 133. Epic book. I love an epic book on a daily. It's beautiful. Uh, I actually just got an epic book for one of the Vlad events as well. So we're kind of stocking back up a few again, which is nice. Um, so far, every event to do with Vlad, I have done at least the minimum to get my Vlad fragments. So we're kind of nailing this. I absolutely nailed Dragon over the last uh, 24 hours. You see that 3,000 points. I, I transferred some of my clan points, clan shop points into energy. So I knew we was getting a, a kind of um, a change up today. Unfortunately, I've changed it to chickens this week where probably a few of us probably would have preferred to get the energy slot. So I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, forward thinking. Saw that coming and I topped up all 10 lots. I got 1,000 energy from my clan points um, yesterday. I also went into the bazaar and bought energy from that yesterday. So I've kind of been saving my gems. I haven't really used any gems yet. I have used my saved energy pots and I nailed Spider and I've nailed Dragon for the Vlad event so far. And obviously all the dungeon divers you just do in the mix anyway. So doing pretty well. I'm up to, um, where are we at? 30 Vlad fragments so far. I've not been able to get even close to like winning tournaments or anything like that. But any event that's come along, we've got it done. So it's meant that I've gained a lot of, um, a lot of ex ex uh, artifacts and that type of thing. You see here, I'm at 729 out of 1300. Honestly, for an account this young, it's just... There's going to be a ton of trash in here, okay? There's going to be a ton of trash that I've just not filtered out. And all the new stuff that I just got from, from Dragon and whatever, I haven't even looked at yet. So it's just going to be all in the mix. So let's do it. Let's get ourselves into gear cleanse mode. Um, I've got myself a cup of tea. I bought myself a pack of Tic Tacs. And we're ready to go. So what am I looking for? It's kind of set by set. I'm just going to go down set by set. What would I do? Uh, but the first kind of real quick cleanse thing that we can do is we can just filter on the bottom three. We can just take out any flat stats that have come in. Yeah. And just sell those off. Let's just clear out some of the trash. So there's not going to be many examples where you would ever roll this gear. The examples are the ones you can see right here in speed. And I bet I've got uh, speed gear. Flat stat with a speed roll. And then I'm looking to see if I actually land the speed roll. If I don't land it, it would be gone. But you see we did land some of these. So they might just be useful for a speed champion. Other than that, all of this stuff, straight gone. Clears me out of a whole bunch of accessories. Nice and early. Bam, bam, bam. All gone. 18 down the drain. 600k silver. It's actually a lot of silver that you get for doing this if you put the time in to do it. That's the first kind of real quick one. And then all we're going to do is just go through set by set. So life set, basically it's weak. It's a weak set anyway. So it's got to be fantastic gear. I'm also thinking in the back of my head, is the gear going to be good enough for faction wars? Okay, so think about that as well. So faction wars, champions, generally what am I looking for on someone who's like a level 40? I'll give you an idea of one of my faction war champions that's just kind of sitting around. Uh, here you go, Taurus. What's he in? Stuff that's been rolled to level 12. And I've kind of looked for his main stats. So he wants accuracy, he wants speed, and he wants some sort of survivability if I'm going to use him for faction wars. So accuracy and health. Speed, accuracy, um, speed, accuracy, health. Accuracy with a bit of health in, in HP gloves. Accuracy chest, but with speed on it. Yeah, so all of this stuff for one of my faction war dudes is just about maximizing my base stats so that I can do the job I want him to do whilst he's still a low level. And I've got a bunch of level 40 faction war champions geared out like this. If you've got an offensive faction war champion, let's pick out someone like um, 
This could be a terrible build. I've not even pre-checked it. So someone like Hexia, I'm looking more for a bit of speed, a bit of crit rate um, to just at least get some crits out. But she's in regen gear. But you see here, crit rate, crit rate, speed and crit rate together with a bit of health. Crit rate gloves with a bit of speed. HP chest so that she stays alive with a bit of speed. Speed with a bit of crit damage. So for someone who's an offensive level 40, look, she's not going to do tons of damage. Even if she's in the best gear in the world, she's not going to do tons of damage. But at least she'll do a bit while she's kind of helping me through some faction war early level stuff. Okay, so life gear then. It's got to be great. What am I looking for? I'm looking for speed. I'm looking for um, HP percent because we're basically going to use life set if we want to build someone's health. And I'm looking for crit rates. If I'm not getting at least two of those, then it's gone. Speed and health together, this could be okay for a faction war champion, but I'm past kind of four star gear now, unless it's really good. Okay, so I've rolled it up to eight ages ago. I don't need it anymore. Speed and a double roll crit rate is still worth keeping. Speed, crit rate, uh, crit damage, defense, they're all good substats. I will roll this one up. Um, in fact, this is what I'm going to do. I'll show you exactly how I do it. So this is better to do when you've got an artifact event going on. So when I'm at this sort of stage, if I'm doing a gear cleanse, I won't take anything past level eight. Okay, because you don't really gain that many points for four to eight in artifact events. It's the 12 and 16 where you get your points. But it's kind of, am I keeping it or not? This one I'm keeping, it's rolled speed. If it rolls speed again, that's not a bad piece. Speed and accuracy together is good. HP gloves in a life set with an opportunity for crit rate and crit damage. There's no point rolling this because it doesn't matter where it goes. It's still not a bad piece for this account. Attack percent chest. See what I was looking for here. If you've got attack percent, you want crit rate and crit damage to go alongside it normally. Okay. So the life set with attack percent is not good. But attack percent, if I'd rolled crit rate and crit damage, this is not bad. So this is an okay piece as it's rolled here for this account but that was uh, on any sort of higher level account it's straight gone because we didn't get the crit rate rolls we're kind of past this now and we're past this now as well so life set i was looking for hp speed crit rate um but i won't keep much of this because immortal is just a straight improvement and honestly there's, there's a lot of defensive sets which are just a straight improvement of just gaining a bit of health okay attack percent Kind of similar to life set. It's pretty crap. You're only really keeping pieces that are going to boost your damage for attack based champions. So we're looking for, this is actually quite nice here. Speed, attack percent. I'm looking for speed, attack percent, crit rate, crit damage. They're my main ones. You might want a sneaky little bit of uh, accuracy in there. But generally it's speed, crit rate, one and two. Uh, attack percent, three, crit damage, four. And kind of what I like is to... Like double or triple rolls into a stat. So this is, this makes it more difficult to keep, albeit it's still, it's not ever going to be a bad piece. I could roll anything in that piece and it would be okay. Accuracy and crit rate, just not really good enough for this set. Accuracy, crit rate, health, no. I mean, you could get a triple roll. I guess this is, this is the test with an epic piece. If that was rare, you know, it's gone. Epic piece, you could triple roll crit rate. And that's the only way you keep this piece. Triple roll crit rate makes it viable for kind of like at least mid game or faction war. So I've double rolled it. I keep it until an artifact event comes on and I roll it to 12 and see if I triple roll it. But now, interesting piece 14% crit rate. It's not bad. Um, I've single rolled crit rate and health fear. So that's a goner now on a four star. Defense percent gloves on attack percent, uh, uh, an offensive kind of set. It's kind of bad, but the three substats are all really good. Yeah, so if you were looking to, you know, earlier game, get yourself someone that could do clan boss, for example, like a Kale, who does get a bit of benefit from the attack, but ultimately for clan boss, you want to build him tanky, then you might just roll this one up. And all you're looking for here is speed and crit rate. The crit damage is actually kind of really secondary now. So rolling crit damage, uh, I'm going to lose it. For my account at this stage, I'm not going to keep it. But there is some, some people that might say that's actually an okay piece. Next one, crit rate in an, in an attack set is good. But my substats are not good. So that's gone. 
If I've got crit rate gloves, I want crit damage on it. I want speed on it. And then we've got an attack percent chest, which has got a couple of okay rolls. I'll keep it on the account. I probably will never use this piece. It's probably pointless to keep. Defense stuff, I don't have a lot of in it. What am I looking for? Speed, crit rate, defense percent, HP percent. If I'm putting somebody in defense set, it's either because their damage is based off defense. So the extra defense boost gives me more, me more damage. Or it's because I need them to stay alive. Therefore, I want defensive stats. So speed and crit rate together, okay. HP percent with crit rate and attack is kind of weak. You really want this to be defense percent um, or crit rate or crit damage. HP percent in a defense set is probably not going to cut it. So that, that's just going to go. This one, I'll roll. If I do not land speed or crit rate, it's straight gone. Straight gone, of course. Um, and it needed to really like max roll into speed and crit rate for that to be a keeper. So I no longer have any defense set, <laughs> which is kind of bad. Okay, speed set. This is like the highlight. Yeah, this is where, where everyone wants to get their, their juicy speed rolls. Um, what are we looking for? Speed and crit rate. That's my two tops. And I want to roll into speed. Yeah, I want to roll. If I'm using a speed set, it's generally because I want someone to be fast. Albeit, almost everybody in the game needs speed. So speed set's always a good filler. It's always a good filler. I like speed and accuracy together. I like speed and crit rate together. Um, even speed and defense percent is pretty good together. Um, you know, speed and crit damage is not as good because crit damage is is always secondary to crit rate for me because generally you want to get damage dealers with crit damage gloves on which means you have to find crit rate throughout the rest of your gear to make that happen so something like this if i'm not rolling into crit rate it's a goner but i kind of want it to roll crit rate crit rate again and then roll speed as the third stat or the fourth stat so that one is going to go this one attack percent hp percent is just not good enough this one I already rolled. We've got a double roll speed into that. That's good. HP, crit damage, accuracy. At this stage of account, you know, 130 odd days in, I will roll this to see if I get multiple accuracy rolls. Crit damage, it's just not worth it. Like, you probably, people will probably argue with, with my point there, but I just will not use that piece. It's just not going to be used. Without speed on it in the first place, rolling into crit damage, it's just unlikely I'd ever use it. This is a keeper for like a filler um, faction war champion. A lot of health, some speed. That's good. Lots of speed on this. Crit rate and accuracy. So we're going to roll up and try and double roll into one of them. I don't really want to spread the rolls between the two. So you know, I, I want my pieces to kind of focus a direction. So double crit rate is nice there. Now really what you want is to roll this and find speed as the, the next substat. But that's, that's going to be a keeper for a while. Crit damage and resistance, no. Crit rate and attack percent. It's kind, of, it's kind of tight, really. Again, you probably would look to see if you could double roll crit rate. Crit rate's definitely the more important stat here than attack percent. If it rolls attack percent, it's not really a keeper. But that's, again, it's a good piece that could roll speed on the, the third substat. Crit rate and damage, I know it's a keeper. It's no point me rolling it, but I want it to roll crit rates. Same with that piece there. This one's high rolled crit rate. So you can get low, medium, or high rolls on every piece, which just means it, it just gives you a bit more value. So if you can get multiple high rolls into a stat versus multiple low rolls, obviously it's going to be better. Uh, and then that piece, because I know I've already got a load of crit rate going on, just don't need it. Um, and it takes me then to pieces that I've kept before. Are they needed anymore? The answer is no. Just get the silver. Get it off of your uh, account. HP and crit damage, no. Crit rate and accuracy will keep. And roll out to look again for double rolls. So we've got an accuracy roll there. You really want it to roll it again. Albeit it's not bad either way here. Like this is just good stats. But 30 odd accuracy on a piece is great for a speed piece. This one we've rolled out before. Um, that's just straight gone. Nothing. I mean, you could triple roll accuracy, I guess. But I'd rather, if, I, if that's what I'm going for, just, just put on accuracy gear, honestly. Um, crit rate and HP. So again, we just want to see if we can get double roll crit rate. If we don't, it's gone. And then we want to, to shield. So HP and crit damage, no thanks. 
Defense percent crit rate are the only two substats I really like here. And I would need to get multiple rolls into them. It's probably like a silver trap, honestly, because you're it's it's very unlikely you're gonna get what you want, but you might do. So crit rate one. And the, the tricky thing about a piece like this is even if you get your multiple rolls where you want them. They really need to be like quad roll crit, uh, crit rate or something like that to be a worthwhile piece. You end up blowing a lot of silver on a piece that perhaps you don't use. Three good substats. This is good for a defensive based champion. Um, doesn't really matter how you roll it because you know you've got three good substats rolling together. HP is probably the least important. Think about a shield is defense based. To get more defense into a defense based one's better, but. This is still going to be a useful piece, at least for Faction Wars. Defense and crit rate together was fine. This piece, average. This piece rolled well. Again, we know crit rate and crit damage together is going to be useful. Crit rate and defense together is going to be useful. HP and, and crit damage, no thanks. An older piece which didn't roll speed, get rid. And then we get onto the harder things to kind of work through. So... You know, you're more likely to keep gloves, chests, and boots than you are to keep the top items. It's harder to get the good main stats. So HP percent with crit rate and crit damage, I can't really go wrong. It's going to be a good piece. I want it to be crit rate, but because they're not gonna, we're not going to have crit damage gloves here because they're already a different type of glove. So it kind of doesn't matter so much to get crit rate, but crit rate is definitely the preferred because... It's just a harder thing to do. To max your crit rate is way more important than to get higher crit damage. So spreading it like this on HP gloves is good. We know this is going to give us 60% worth of HP. So they're going to be at least a brilliant faction war pair of gloves. And again, you want to look for speed and accuracy in the kind of last two stats. Crit rate with crit damage. It, it will be a keeper anyway on this account because 60% crit rate is going to work for someone. But you want crit damage to roll because it goes with the crit rate you've already got and the resistance is pretty niche. Uh, crit rate with defense and resistance. I'm going to keep it on this account again because it's speed set. So just pairing it with something else will give me 12% speed. Both substats are absolute trash um, for this set. If I want resistance, I'm going to go for a more defensive set anyway, not speed generally. Uh, although you might use it, I guess, if you've got double resistance. But um, yeah, not such a good piece. I'll leave it there. If I need crit rate, then I roll it at the time. Defense percent is always going to be useful. Um, and you see here, two bad substats, one potential good one. The tricky thing here, I, I don't want it to see this one. I don't want to see attack, attack flat because they're defense percent gloves. You're generally keeping them to make someone more have more survivability. I really wanted to see accuracy as my main role. That's easily the best stat here. If it rolls attack again, it's probably a goner, honestly, uh, which is a shame because it's much harder to get defense percent gloves, but it's just rolled terribly. This one with speed on it, see how much better they are already than the one I just showed you. Attack, flat, but with speed, so it's a keeper. HP percent, I know I've got better gloves already, and it's got two weak substats, so that's gone. Two good substats, I know it's a keeper. Defense percent, I would want this to roll HP percent, but I'll keep it for now. Crit damage. Only five star. I really want six star crit damage gloves. Yeah, just a straight up massive improvement. 15% more overall crit damage from those. Um, and I want to see crit rate or speed or accuracy as a substat. These substats are not really cutting it for me. This is better. At least we've got some sort of, uh, you know, reasonable substats. It's still not, still not brilliant though. Don't need these anymore because I've got better ones we've just seen. HP percent I've rolled out to max. With speed on it, with crit rate and crit damage. That's just like a great faction war piece. That's a keeper. Crit damage with crit rate, with accuracy. It's only four star. It's a great faction war piece for me for now. Okay, moving on. Defense percent chest. We've got basically the same rules as gloves here. Um, but what am I looking for as my main stats? Okay, game. I know. I'm looking for attack percent. I'm looking for defense percent. I'm looking for HP percent as my three like main ones that I would use day in, day out. Pretty much, defense percent is on a defense-based champion or a clan boss champion you're trying to keep alive. Um, HP percent is on most champions that you're just trying to keep alive, especially faction war, dungeon running, that type of thing. Attack percent generally goes on your nukers for something like arena. Um, 
to where you don't really worry so much about keeping them alive. You just worry about splurging someone's face. So this is a nice piece. I would have preferred to see speed on it, but you know we're looking for, again, double rolls into any of these. And then you want speed to come in as your, your next substat beneath it, ideally. But you're never getting rid of it because, you know, I mean, this is actually, you know, it's a pretty end game piece. Max, you can get for a six star 60%, obviously. Double roll into crit rate. So for a defensive nuker, that's going to be a lot of um, a lot of stats. Now you've got resistance chests and accuracy chests. They're both pretty niche when you would use them. So resistance pretty much is is going to be Doom Tower or some sort of crazy arena build, which is very off meta right now. It doesn't really exist. Um, that's pretty much it. Or someone that maybe you're doing, trying to do like solo running with. Okay, so resistance is is a worse main stat to get because you just don't use it very much you you would only keep your best pieces and you would only really keep six star uh pieces at all accuracy you do use a bit more so a lot of champions in the arena you're gonna want to use accuracy chest with speed on it so i really wanted to see double roll speed here or at least single roll but accuracy with speed um means that your person who's gonna land your debuffs or cleanse or whatever it's going to get to their abilities uh, before your enemy. That's the aim. So this is a keeper for this account for now, but it's rolled terribly. But it does have maximum accuracy that I could get. Plus, it's got a little bit of speed. Uh, whereas this one here, got no speed on it. It's just going to go. I need speed on my people that are going to be doing that type of thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's just the stat you're going to want. So let's just flick through to some others I haven't rolled. HP percent. Crit rate and attack, I'd want to see crit rates. HP percent with speed on it. So we want to see if we can get a double roll of speed. This would probably be an upgrade if I got double roll here for my fastest champ. Apothecary, as it is, 10 speed. Let's just see where my apothecary is. 14 speed, but on a flat HP. See another flat HP here. So I would have loved to, to have got a double roll there to just straight up improve my apothecary's gear. Uh, attack percent with crit rate i want this to roll into crit rate for it to be uh, a good piece but now on my account this is probably a keeper anyway because i will need um i will need attack percent chest for a while but not rolling crit rate is not ideal uh getting one roll is actually okay but normally for attack percent you're probably wanting to look towards cruel gear or savage gear or you know some more damage damaging stats bad substats here and i've got better ones already this one's good that one's a gone up. Okay. Let's just roll up to eight on this one. See if we get a double roll of speed. You see, I've not really spent a lot of silver here doing this. Just, you know, we're only kind of a couple of sets in, but you can see that it doesn't cost a lot to get to this sort of stage. Defense with HP and speed is actually pretty good. I much would have preferred double roll of speed. And then with boots, what you're looking for, you're kind of looking for either attack percent hp percent defense percent or mainly speed 99 percent of people will wear speed boots until you get later in the game and then it actually flips and you try and get out of speed boots into it for a lot of your champs um so speed boots here i'm kind of looking for crit rate um crit damage together or i'm looking for hp percent defense percent together all of them i'm kind of hoping to see some accuracy popping up because you know how much we need accuracy for most champions in the game. So I'm wanting to roll the defensive stats here. This would end up going on someone like a, you know, a Duchess or an Assert or someone who is defensive based, but you still need to be kind of quick. This one, you know, you, you attack percent. I really want to see crit rate in here somewhere in one of these other two stats for this to be worthwhile. But to get double accuracy would be nice. So someone who's going to be, you know, like an Astralon, does a lot of damage, but you also need to land debuffs. This ends up being quite a good chunk of accuracy into his build. Attack percent with crit rate. If I'm not rolling crit rate here, they're gone. Which I'm not. See you later. I mean, saying that, this is a bit of a niche one because you've got attack percent, which you, you're obviously trying to build attack on someone. And it's rolled into attack. If I got enough crit rate through the rest of my gear, this actually becomes a little bit more damage, like a sneaky little bit more damage. but they're not really great. These are like faction war boots, probably rolled up to 12 for someone, just so they get the speed I want. Same here. The funny thing here is these boots I got from campaign are better 
than these boots that I got from Dragon. Because I've got two bad substat rolls here. So I can't do any worse than what I've just got on those other boots. So whatever I roll here on substats is probably better than what I've got on that other set of boots. So I wouldn't roll the rare ones over this one. It's not rolled brilliant, but it's still a better pair of boots than this. So unless you particularly want resistance and it double rolls resistance, I guess. Um, so we're already pretty deep into a video here, like 25 minutes odd. I guess what I'll show you now, I won't go through all the sets. I'll just kind of talk through a couple more. Accuracy, what do I want to see? Speed and accuracy together or speed or accuracy on this account. So you know, if I'm not rolling those stats and why is that these are people that do debuffs generally you want your debuffers to, to be pretty quick and to rotate through those abilities fast um, and because you don't have the benefit of speed set boost in terms of speed you kind of still want to get speed into your accuracy gear um, so I'm looking to see if I can roll into accuracy with like multiple rolls double rolls triple rolls because ultimately when you get further into the game it's a case of stacking accuracy into pieces so that you can then build the rest of the stats you want elsewhere um so speed and accuracy together this becomes a really good piece as long as that's what it rolls one of those two and both of them together is nice as well because you generally want to be quick and be able to land your debuffs so that's what i'm looking for on this set generally on accuracy gear i'm looking for defensive stats like defense percent hp percent as my main stats there's not that many um, people that I'm building massive accuracy on that are just going to hit really hard. I'm not saying they don't happen, but more often than not, you're building defensive stats on people that can rotate these abilities. Um, so if I do get something like a crit damage set of gloves, I want to see crit rate with it. I want to see speed with it, but generally I won't use many on on a set. And with accuracy gear, clearly you want accuracy chests, uh, and you want accuracy chests with speed substats. That's generally what you're looking for. Um, as a kind of niche compared to every other set because clearly if you're going for an accuracy chest you're trying to boost your accuracy up very high therefore you probably want it in a set that boosts your accuracy so either accuracy set or perception set resistant gear very niche you probably want to make sure that you've got resistance rolls on it to be a keeper uh, or speed rolls on it so that can straight up go yeah and then you want to roll into those resistance stats yeah, you see pretty much everything that I'm keeping here has got a resistance roll. Or, this is an interesting one, or you get a piece like this where it's an attack percent set of boots with crit rate and crit and speed on it. And this wouldn't be for a resistance build at all. I'm just seeing if I'd land those stats. So I've landed speed, I've landed defense percent. It's, it's not rolled particularly well. I had to see those kind of two middle stats roll. For that to kind of fall into line with what i'm saying so that would just go um life still gear you're pretty much going to use this for like clan boss builds or general builds across the game general builds i'm looking for speed crit rate hp percent defense percent um and accuracy five stats they're the main ones i'm looking for uh let's flick into some others so most frost gear unless it's great it's going to go most days gear is just going to go unless it's great um or i could use it on like a faction war champion potentially immunity gear i'm generally looking for speed i'm looking for accuracy uh i'm looking and, and that's like one style of build that's like your debuffer build because immunity gear is pretty much arena gear if if it's not that then i'm looking for damage gear speed crit rate uh attack percent crit damage so it's kind of one way or another a blend of the two is generally not what i want i want it either to be and, and pretty much all of them i want to be fast so you know, there's, i don't have a lot of good immunity gear at all um, I'm not going to cleanse much out because I have such such a few amount of pieces. Um, shield set, I'm looking for HP percent um, as like the primary. So, you know, my gloves, my chests, I basically want HP percent as my main stat. My boots, I want speed with HP percent potential rolls because whoever you're putting in a shield set is going to be protecting your team. And the, the protection comes from a percentage of your HP. So if you're not building high HP up with a shield set, it's like, why are you using it? The only other thing you might do is you might go for a damage build in a shield set for someone like a, a Mountain King, like an HP based champion, and then you get a bit of both. But I'd say that's way more niche. 
Yeah, so this piece here, speed, crit rate, attack percent, crit damage, this is a great piece for someone who's just going to do damage. And it might be that this piece isn't even used as a shield set piece. It's literally just used as an off piece to boost someone's damage potential. Um, and speed and crit rate is kind of where you want it to go. So that's, that's rolling pretty nice. But mainly you're looking for HP percent rolls, HP percent rolls. You're rolling it up. If you're not landing those HP percent, get rid. Um, and at this point on my account, you know, all of this early three star gear would just be going. Relentless gear, generally, I think, I think it's an offensive set. You're looking for crit rate, crit damage, speed, generally. It's, it's used pretty niche, but uh, generally I've just built it for damage. Savage gear, you're looking for speed, crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, defense percent, anything would, which would boost damage. Yeah, it's a, it's a damage dealing set for damage dealers, mainly in the arena. Um, so I'm looking for speed and crit rate together, crit rate and crit damage together. Um, yeah, you see, so the pieces that I'm keeping you kind of see a reason. I don't have a lot of it. This has not rolled well at all. So normally this would be gone on a better account, but I don't have a better account right now. Crit damage gloves. Normally you're looking for crit rate and speed together. Um, again, I don't have many options on this account. So that's just kind of kept there just in case. This one, crit damage gloves with double roll speed. It's kind of nice. But you'll see here, because you know, my Savage Gear is weak. So if I was to use this set of crit damage gloves, where the hell is my crit rate coming from? Yeah, I need to get to 100% crit rate. I just don't have enough pieces of gear with multiple rolls of crit rate. So this one is an option. But you know, this could be good for a nuka, but I would have to find multiple crit rate rolls elsewhere. Otherwise, it's just being kept for the future. It's not, it's not really in my mindset right now. So, you know, double roll resistance. Like, no, that's not what I need from Savage Gear. So, Savage Gear is kind of a little bit of a world of its own. Um, if you've got crit rate piece like this, you want crit damage as a substat. So, you'd want to be rolling into crit damage like that. Probably double roll. And this becomes better than my crit damage gloves right now because I can't find the crit rate somewhere else. Therefore, you're going to have to go crit rate as your main stat on the gloves, which brings the, the damage potential down tons. Brings it down a ton. Um, okay, destroy set is pretty much just for Scarab boss. I'm looking for stats really that go on someone like an Armager, right? Accuracy, speed, crit rate, defense percent, HP percent. Same five stats really, but way more focused towards speed, accuracy, and crit rate. And you see the ones that are not equipped. I mean, most of these I will just clear out because I just want to keep my best, maybe like two sets. That's it. So most of these would just go. Stun gear, I just want on this account. It's a really good set for faction wars. I'm looking for speed. I'm looking for defensive stats. I'm looking for crit rates uh, on these. Poison, pretty niche set. Just looking for good pieces generally. So those main five stats. But if it's not got speed on it, really, it's probably going to go. Taunt set I don't really collect. Retaliation set and counterattack, uh, like a vengeance sets, are pretty much the same. They're based on um, someone doing damage when they retaliate, which means that you just want spikes of crit rate, crit damage together. Probably less so speed, although speed's still important, because you're going to be using this on someone that is going to be hit. They're probably not going to be fast, but they retaliate and they do their damage through the retaliation. Stalwart set is basically a defensive stat, removes damage from AoE. So you're going to want defensive stats, but you might also build it on someone who's doing damage for you. So I put my Geomancer in this. Um, he does do damage, but my focus is on HP percent, defense percent mainly because I want that person to stay alive. And you want some speed and crit rate and accuracy because generally they're also going to want to do their abilities. Um, Reflex is pretty niche kind of okay actually just look for your main stats curing set literally sell it all unless it is a bonkers good piece of gear so this could be good but no speed on it it's not bonkers good it could be good it's not bonkers good and that's what it needs to be for curing set um okay cruel set really great set again you're looking for the same type of stats as you are on savage you're looking for that speed and crit rate together speed um, crit damage. Yeah, so you're looking to try, try and get multiple rolls into damage based stats. This piece here, this is the godlike piece. Yeah, so it's got 
All four stats, great for an attack-based champion. Don't forget, Cruel Set is boosting your attack as well. So generally, it's going to be someone who builds damage from attack. So have an attack percent here as well. This is the perfect piece for Cruel. And it's six star as well. So I really want it to roll into crit rates because crit rate is the stat where which I need to boost up if I'm going to go crit damage gloves. But it can't bad roll at all. This is always going to be a good piece. Um, crit rate and crit damage wouldn't want it to roll into defense. Yeah, this is where you do want crit damage gloves. You do want your crit rate gloves. You want your attack percent chests. Yeah, with crit rate and speed on. You want your attack percent boots as well because, you know, you, you just kind of build attack um, up as much as you can. Speed boots will be fine for most accounts, but if you can get your speed for your substats in other areas, then you move into attack percent boots and you start doing silly damage. Yeah, silly damage. That's what, and that's what you want to do. Immortal is like the, almost like the opposite. This is going to be someone who is being built to stay alive. Yeah, 3% extra heal every turn of your health. Yeah, so you want high HP, you want speed, high HP. You only get your healing when you take a turn, so you need speed to rotate through that to make it work. This is really good on like a miscreating monster or you know any HP-based champion. So you might have damage dealers in Immortal, so you might look for speed and crit rate still. But mainly you're looking for HP percent to be in the mix of the substats for it to be a really good piece. Um, so, you know, most of this would just be cleaned out. HP percent is what you're looking for for your main stat because it's an HP set. So, you know, generally you want HP percent as your main stat with speed, crit rate, accuracy, defense percent as your substats. And then boots, you might actually want HP percent boots. You might be building like an absolute tank. Um, so HP percent boots would be good. But again, you want speed, defense percent, crit rate as your substats to go alongside it. Accuracy, same stats we've been talking about. This is another one of those niche set of boots where it's not really for immortal gear. But if it rolls into crit rate, then I might keep it for like a filler for someone else. And then all of the arena based gear, it's kind of the same as what we've spoken about, apart from it's got a self shield as well. The shield is based on HP, so you might want to look for HP stats a bit more. But generally, you just want the, the sub stats to kind of match the type of gear it is. So attack, you want crit rate, speed, crit damage. Crit rate set. This is actually really good because it gives you that extra 12% crit rate. Or earlier to mid game accounts late game you probably find your crit rate somewhere else but you know because you've got 12 percent crit rate coming when the two pieces come together it means that you could be a bit more liberal with wanting crit damage rolls instead of wanting crit rate rolls so you know this set i might be looking for rolls into crit damage more than i'm looking for rolls into crit rate because i know i'm already getting some crit rate from the set coming together so crit damage roll here would make this good Double roll speed is also good if I get some crit damage out of it somewhere else. Yeah, and then you're kind of looking still for the main speed and crit rate rolls in something else to go alongside it. So you still get that good balance of, a, you know, an awesome amount of crit rate with crit damage together. This has actually become, what a great pairing. Look at this. 12% crit rate plus the 16% from this piece. So I've got 28%. Plus I'm getting my crit damage coming from something else. So ends up becoming a really nice kind of set to pull together. HP with HP, obviously. Speed with speed. So if I've got any, any unrolled substats of speed here, I'd be surprised because they should be rolled up already. And then I'm looking for this, this kind of double, triple roll into speed. Swift parry. It's a damage, damage set, or is it? Or is it? <laughs> it's a damage set, I'd say, right the way up until end game. And then when you end game, it, it's a tank set. <laughs> Very weird. So it's a damage set for me right now on my free to play. I'm looking for same type of stats that I'm looking for on Savage Gear, Cruel Gear. Yeah, I want to build damage into it because I get loads of speed and I get a good chunky amount of crit damage as well. But when you get to late game, you're actually looking for this to go on tanks in the arena to make them basically unkillable. So you're looking for HP percent rolls, defense percent rolls, still some speed. Um, but then, you know, you're kind of looking for more tanky um, versions of the, of the set. I would say don't sell too much of your swift parry because there's so many different funky builds that you might end up doing you know it's one to keep more gear of um and then perception gear is probably the last one to go over it's such a great set you want speed and accuracy together it's giving you speed and accuracy 
You want more of it. This is your debuffers. These are people that you want to go fast and first. Um, I'd say uh, on an earlier game account like this one, all sorts of like mixes of stats could work actually because you're guaranteeing your 40 accuracy and you're guaranteeing a bit of speed. So you know, some of my damage dealers will actually be wearing perception gear um, because it's just going to give me the accuracy I need. I get some speed. And then I can also build damage stats in the substats as well. So depends as you're kind of moving through the game, you know, how much you kind of stick to that speed and accuracy rule. But this can't really roll badly, but I do want it to roll speed and accuracy. Or crit rate. The last thing I want is HP percent, honestly. Um, Perception gear is fantastic lower level faction war champion gear. It's fantastic because... You just straight up getting some accuracy. If you're on lower level faction wars anyway, you only need like 40 to 70 odd accuracy to land stuff. Um, so, you know, one set of perception gear, you've pretty much done it. You've pretty much got to where you need to be for that lower level stuff. So this is brilliant to keep for faction war champions. And then you've got all of the different, um, you've got all the different Doom Tower stuff. I, I guess it depends where you can farm. The easiest thing for me to farm is... Um, is Sorath, but it gives me kind of the worst gear. Honestly, you kind of want Guardian gear. You want Blood First gear for an earlier game account. Guardian gear, Fatal gear for a late game account. Guardian, you want defensive stats. Fatal, you want offensive stats. It's pretty much the, the long and short. So look, this video has gone long. My tea has got cold. Um, I hope it's useful to you. I'm going to go and clear out probably of my 600 odd pieces that I've got left, probably half of that's going to go. Yeah, pr like probably easily half of that is going to go. In fact, I'll do it. I'll show you how many pieces we end up with. Okay, here we go. So at the start of this video, I was on 729 pieces. Sell all of this. I'm going to be down to 419. So over 300 pieces gone. You know, what's that like? 40% of my artifacts gone from the account. Straight up just deleted. Um, and... Now, when we've got the next artifact event for Vlad, I've got a good old coffer of 16 mil. Plus, I've also got, you know, I didn't do it on all of them, but I've got a fair amount of stuff now that's rolled up to at least level 8. So I've already got a good indication of what's going on. Um, and actually, for the next artifact event, I will take a lot of these pieces up to 8 and just see where do the rolls go. You know, is, is it worth investing more silver in them or not? So look, guys, I know it was long. Well done if you watched to the end um hopefully it was interesting hopefully you learned something as well i've been hell hades i will see you later